Hello, my name is Anna McIntyre, and I will be showing with you my quantitative analysis of the show Shameless. Shameless is a comedy drama, American spin-off of an award-winning British series about a completely dysfunctional family living in the south side of Chicago. The eldest daughter of the family, Fiona, raises the five younger siblings because their alcoholic, drug-addicted, narcissistic parents have neglected the family and only come around for money, food, or other selfish needs. The show is notorious for the inappropriate and bizarre circumstances that continue to happen to this family and their friends. The majority of the show surrounds around the idea that the father, Frank, is a low-life junkie that has never supported the family and only uses them for his own benefits. Shameless shows what life is like for this family as they are growing up and facing life with little to no parental guidance and how they manage to get by. The first episode of the eighth season begins with Fiona starting her new apartment complex and the renovation after she bought it from a friend. Fiona also has been dating on Tinder, but is realizing she doesn't want to continuously be sleeping with complete strangers. The eldest brother, Lip, is a recovering alcoholic and is struggling to keep it that way. He has found a job in an auto shop from one of his friends he met through AA that has been really supportive. Ian, the second eldest brother, is an EMT and wants to work at a specific block helping young troubled adolescents to prove to his ex-boyfriend, Trevor, that he is worthy of being with him again after cheating on him with his first love, Mickey. Debbie, the 16-year-old sister, lives with her handicapped boyfriend and her one-year-old baby, Franny. Debbie has landed a job at a parking garage where she encounters many nasty people. Carl, the fifth youngest, is back from military school and is trying to make America great again by teaching his little brother, Liam, the warrior way and trying to decide with what to do with his bag of meth that him and the rest of the family inherited from their dead mother. He then decides to buy a super nice hot tub for their backyard. Liam, the youngest of the six kids, is enrolled into a prestigious private school where he is always being pulled out to play recess and he's not too sure why. Last but not least, Frank, the father of the six, is settled in a monastery mourning over the death of his wife Monica, the mother of his children, and he looks worse than ever, especially considering his share of meth is nearly gone. When analyzing this episode, I was searching for dimensions of identity both on and off screen, specifically sexual orientation and any presence of disabilities. I specifically was interested in seeing if the representation of these dimensions of identity were paralleled between the cast itself and the characters the cast was portraying, as well as the crew behind the scenes. This analysis is important because as an audience, we want to be aware of how this representation is portrayed. We are then able to gain an understanding of how representation in media can shape our vision of society. I conducted a quantitative analysis of the identity of both the cast and crew of Shameless. Throughout the eight seasons of Shameless, many types of representation is shown in the main characters of the show, as well as characters that have substantial parts throughout the seasons, such as physical disability shown through Debbie's current boyfriend, Neil, who is in a wheelchair from being hit by a bus after receiving brain damage. The LGBT community is greatly represented by the characters such as Ian who came out gay and the numerous amount of boyfriends that have appeared on past seasons such as Caleb and Mickey. The transgender community has also been represented by Trevor, a transgender male who has dated Ian Gallagher in season 7 and has appearances throughout season 8. I was very interested to see if any of the cast that displayed disabled, gay, transgender characters in the show actually identified with their character as well as seeing what dimensions of identity the cast and crew overall had. The results came out to be that of the nine members of the cast and of the six members of the crew, zero of them were transgender. However, Elliot Fletcher, who plays Trevor, does actually identify as a transgender male. All cast members except one member are straight, and the one member I was unable to accurately determine their sexual orientation. And four of the six crew members were straight, while the other two I also could not identify. Zero of both cast and crew members did not have any z disabilities. However, Zach Perlman, who plays Neil, Debbie's boyfriend in a wheelchair, is not actually disabled in real life. These results are important to note because although the identities of the LGBT community and disabilities are being represented to the audience, behind the scenes they really aren't. The characters and stories of those representing these identities may appear realistic, however, how would they know? This is important because the crew and cast who don't identify with those dimensions of identity may have bias and aren't able to connect as well to their character 
and the identity by which this representation gives them, without the actual experience of identifying as gay or having a disability. This impacts the audience at large because the audience may not know this information and may wrongly assume or stereotype these communities based off what they see from the show. Although a lot of the representation of the identities are shown, the accuracy can be skewed and therefore giving the audience a possible wrongful resonance.